it's Israel Ogunia here again. And so in this video, I'll be teaching you about CAC pre-incorporation portal. Everything you need to know about pre-incorporation and CAC. I'll take you through the website. I'll be taking you through everything you need to know about the website. How you can get yourself around the website so that immediately you get accredited by CAC, you begin to register company and begin to make money for yourself and also make money for your client as well. But before I take you to the website, Please don't forget to smash the subscribe button and comment on the video if you like the video and if you don't like the video, you can also comment on it and share it with your friend. Now, I want to reach about 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month and I know we can do it. So, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month. So, in this video, I'll be taking you through the CAC website. That's the Corporate Affairs Commission website in Nigeria and taking you through everything you need to know about it. And, of course, I'll be telling you my honest review about the, about the website. How you can get yourself around the website, do your registrations as easy as possible and know how to file your document in CEC. Now I'll also be explaining to you now if you want to make it if you want me to make a video on how to file anything, any post incorporation, I think pre-incorporation matters are actually easy to file. So if you have any issue with filing of any incorporation matter, whether post or pre-incorporation, you could just type it on the comment and I'll make a video on how to file that. Now for post incorporation, I'll, I'll do both, both po post and pre-incorporation. Now let's start with pre-incorporation. Like, and like I've always said, pre-incorporations are every incorporation that you're doing before or when you're about to register a company. Post is after you, after is pre is before. So that's just the difference between the two. So for pre-incorporation website, I've always said that we type with pre.cac.gov.ng. So once you click on dashboard, you allow it to load as normal. And then you click on login. Now, one of the things I've always had issues with is that I don't really like the way it loads. First of all, it takes a while and of course i understand that their security may they are trying to go by anyway there are several issues that lawyers have or accountants have when they are resisting or doing any pre or post incorporation matter first of all when they send document like that you have issues with it coming out early so sometimes they might not even come out as fast as you want and then of course clients will begin to pastor the lawyer or the accountant that it's not he or she's not doing his or work very well but most of the time it's the fault of the CAC personnel so stop bothering your lawyer and start sending mails and calls to CAC then of course another thing is that your customer care is very bad it's very bad I'll say the truth the customer care is very bad they rarely call and if you call them they don't call back so I think CAC should find out and do something about that if, if you click on contact us for example i've tried this severally and i've tried calling but they don't call back they don't call back which is very bad i remember i, I prepared a document and i sent it to cac and i didn't receive the document for several period and i called the customer care because i wanted to actually do a search for a company and i sent the document for some period of time and i didn't get any comment i called the number of one of the people of the customer care in in CAC and they didn't even want to pick my phone number so it is very wrong for them because when you are doing when you are building a website customer care it's very it's very important to build on it now there was there's a new new notification under CAC which applies for objections for IT and limited guarantee now this objection when I open the tab now I'm not trying I, I don't want to open it because I don't want this tab to go away from me so I'm opening it another tab now under this tab you will fill up your information if you have an objection form maybe you have a, a problem now like i was saying before i said that the their customer care is very bad i think that's one of the reasons why they must have set up this objection form so this objection form is maybe you have filed something and it's not coming out you can just fill in the category what what kind of objection maybe you have, you have a login issue or you have a payment issue whether you have paid and your the stuff that you want has not come out yet or whether you have done a post incorporation issue and it, it has not even come out yet so you can select any of those and even if all the information are not here any of your information or any of your complaints are not here you can click on orders you want to click on orders you can type your description the name your email your phone number and then of course 
you submit but if your information are there if it's a print corporation matter you can type any of those information and then submit to them and then we we'll play because i hope i've not tried it anyway but i want to believe that it is working and they are fast with it and i believe that if CS doesn't have they don't have people that are under the complaint form i think that they should begin to think of employing people that can do that there are a lot of people that need the job so i think that they can employ people that studied something like human is or customer care agent and so on and so forth like that so that's that about the the registration and the the custom market now once you click on it now one of the things that issues that i have we, well i feel that it's a security issue is under this you have what is called protected by the chapter now the chapter is somewhat like a privacy for your information and security so if this doesn't show there are two things it's either the person is not real or your your internet service is not that fast so just make sure that once you are doing your CS registration you are in a place that has a very fast internet connection so once that you are good about that then of course i've done a video on how to register and become an accredited CSC agent so if you want to look for that video kindly click on the link above you you see it around this video and then you can begin your CAC you can become a, an accredited member of CAC then of course you click on login so once you have clicked on login you allow it to load now some people have also had issues over the years that once you click on login doesn't look it takes a long a lot of time now I understand this and it could be because of several reasons now one of the things that allows website to be very slow when they are loading is first of all if the server is is not powerful enough so if the server that they are using is not powerful enough it's when it looks like that it will be slow and of course because a lot of people are actually on it you have a lot of lawyers in nga registering companies and so on and so forth so if a lot of lawyers are on that particular page so it could be slow for you so our advice is you can basically upgrade it to a server there are several servers that are, that are fast they should try and upgrade it i'm just saying this as a form of a review because i've used their website and there's issues that it has now on their website you have on the print corporation if you are doing any print corporation basically this is how the website works works now if you want to register a company you can either choose register here but for me i don't i don't click on it i click on this so once you click on it this for example for it you are right to load now you will discover that I, i've been clicking on it severally so these are some of the issues that it has so you click on it for a period of time before it loads for you and which is not too good on tac part because they must make sure that the essence of providing a website is to make job is easy for lawyers and also for them so i think they should really look into it and tell their it guys to ensure that they really do a lot of stuff and make sure that they really do their work now this new reservation is if you are registering let's say a company or you are registering an incorporated trustee or limited partnership so this is what pre incorporation is for when you are just registering something that is new that you have not done before you are just registering a company then that is when you can that's everything you are going to be doing here so once you have done your reservation of name and it has been approved then you click on this this is where you see whether your name has been reserved so when you click on reserve for example it is where approval is so it is where all the names have been approved is now all these names now are they are all covered because i don't want to reveal secrets of different companies like that but this has come of the registration i've done over the years so once you click on this tab then let's assume you have your name has been served so instead of seeing approval here you say continue so when you click on continue then you continue your registration in proper and then of course for business name and it, they, they all have fees that you are supposed to to pay for each of the registration then of course you go back because you are not basically registering now after you must, you must have done that now this denied is actually maybe you have done a registration and maybe your name was denied because someone else is using the name so you have to click on it once you see one here it means that one of the names that you registered was denied so about three names were denied i've done for about several people so so that's why you're saying three denied here so once you have seen three, three denied you click on the denied and then you look at the name and then you press continue so once you press continue you can do another name reservation so once you see denied here you come back here and then you can do a new name reservation now painting and query the painting and query is basically you are doing something under cac 
registration and if something was created when you were submitting your identity card or maybe a photo or a passport or if any document there are issues with it or it's not showing clearly that's when pending or query is done so query it doesn't mean that you, you don't know your work it just means that maybe there's an issue that you're supposed to check and change and you have not changed it so that's basically why you see query there then of course not submitted means that maybe you have not you have not completed a transaction maybe while you're doing it you forgot to click on submit and so on and so forth so you click on not submitted so that you can submit your the details then of course register now not submitted for here also is different from here now this is for name reservation like i said before if you are just doing you're serving a name at cac but for this registration it is when you this has been reserved that's when you have actually done your name reservation and cac accept that the name has not been picked by someone else then under this is served it's after then that you can come here so let's assume your name has been reserved yeah then you click on continue then after you have clicked on continue and you pay the fees the name of the company the name of the proprietors if it's a business name or the name of the managing director is a company or the name of the chairman if it's an ngo then you have submitted it and maybe you didn't click on submit then it will not show here it will show here that you didn't click on submit because you are not doing reservation you are doing registration or maybe you have submitted and you are waiting for them to approve it then it will show one pending approval but because there is no pending approval here i'm not working on csc for now because i'm doing quite a lot of stuff so that's why you would you are not seeing any pending approval there so when you say pending approval it means that you you have submitted so it's pending at the particular unit that would handle your details then query it so let's assume maybe you have done your pending applications and then there's a document that is faint and is not showing full information about something then you see one query there so when you see the one query there it doesn't mean that you don't know your work it just means that maybe there are issues that you need to resolve because i know some people used to panic when i first started i i panicked when i saw query there but after a while you just begin to realize that it happens to even the most experienced you see the most experienced having issues sometimes it might not even be your own fault that it it has been created sometimes it could be the fault of the person handling it i had a, I have a friend of mine that did an application for someone and because when he click on submit he didn't submit there so they didn't see anything there and then they query so he had to go into the cac headquarters he had to lodge a complaint and after lodging a complaint they checked for it and told him to resend it and when he sent it again it actually came out they applied for it and then they approved it so this is when the query so query, being queried doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing then of course register so under the registration here means that your name that you have applied to register whether a company or a business name has been approved by cc so you click on the name now very very important information you guys should know here very very important information now once your name has been registered there was a new there was a new notification that came out from cc now it is this it said can you know that you are allowed to download your document certificate within seven days interval of registration date for subsequent download or document certificate you will be charged a fee so make sure that immediately they approve your application before the, the lapse of the seven days make sure you download all the documents your document your document certificate your document for the company your receipts the details of the trustees make sure you download document and save it in your different devices so that you will not have to pay extra fees so make sure that you save all, all those information so that in any time that you would need it or if the proprietor or anybody in the company needs it you can just readily give them this is a method of avoiding paying extra fee so that's just basic information that you need to know about so that's everything you need to know about pre-incorporation matter now if you want me to make a video about today post incorporation um, uh, everything you need to know about post incorporation can you comment on the comment below and i'll do a video for you so that's everything about pre-incorporation and see if you like this video and you want to see more of it Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, smash the subscribe button, let's subscribe to this channel, let's reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month so that we can make more videos that are even better than this.